I'm Hadi from myflashlabs.com and this is the first episode from our course about how to implement Adobe or native extensions into your project. In the first episode, I'm going to talk about how we can download and implement my Flash Labs ANEs or of course any other ANE into your project in if you are using Flash Develop IDE. In the other parts, we will talk about how we can do the same thing in Flash Builder or Flash CC IDEs. As an example, we are going to download and implement the Rich WebView ANE. So, to download it, you should visit our GitHub repository and you'll find it here. Just download it on your desktop. Alright, here we go. So, what I'm going to do now is to uh, use the zip file that I just downloaded and try to implement the A in my own project. But although the archive that I just downloaded that includes a sample project in Flash Develop, but we are going to get help from this zip file and implement the egg, the Air Native extension into our own project, like uh, you want to do it yourself. But we are not going to use the sample project in the zip file. So, let me just extract the content of the zip file first and get rid of the zip file. So, if you open the zip file, you will see that <coughs> there is the AS documents here for your reference and the demo flash develop project is here. So, we are going to use this project to get out the necessary parts we need for our own, for our own project and then we will continue. Uh, I'm going to move the this window here and bring in my own project and open it in flash develop. Uh, this project is a very simple project if you check out the document class uh, you will see that on init uh, we are initializing a button and place it at the center of the screen if you're wondering what this class is well uh, you can find the class in all of the packages that you are downloading from our github repository and it's actually a sprint but we have extended that class for our own use but anyway if you run this project, uh, you will see uh, there is only one button at the center of the screen and if you hit it, it will say run the ANE here. So what we are going to do now is to copy the ANE file from the demo project we have downloaded. So let's do that. The ANU file is in the lib folder. I'm just gonna copy it. And you see, there is no lib folder here, so let's create a new folder here. And we're gonna call it lib. And the first thing to do is to right click on the ANE file and add to library. Now we are going to import the necessary classes like 
parts. Mesh lab, yeah. extensions, web view, which web view. And we are also going to import the event class. Well, uh, as you see, the color has turned into blue because we have actually added this ANE to our library. So, to know how to work with this extension, we are going to use the demo project. So, I'm going to open the demo file from the original file that we downloaded from GitHub to see how it works. Uh, as you see, we have just introduced a new variable, so we are going to do the same thing here too. We put the variable here, and the next thing is initializing the extension. So we are going to copy this to our own project. So as soon as the button is hit, we are going to initialize the extension. We are initializing the extension and as expected everything should still work fine, right? So uh, let's run the project and see what happens. Let's hit the button. Oops, there is an error. So let's read what the error says. Cannot access a property or method of a null object reference. So, as it seems, the extension is not able to be initialized. So, what could be the reasons? The first thing to check is uh, to make sure that the extension is actually implemented in our project. So, if you open the Adobe Air Manifest XML file, uh, you see we have not implemented anything here so let's close the debugger and look at the sample project now okay I'm gonna drag it into the flash develop ID and compare the two uh, All right. Uh, considering that we are right now building for Android, uh, let's see what are the differences. Uh, there are some comments in the manifest file which tells you that the minimum SDK version required for this AN is 10. So we're gonna copy this line our own project under the manifest tag so, all right. and then if you are going to you see every different air native extension uh, may require different uh, permissions in for the Android or the iOS path so we are going to concentrate on the main point uh, as it suggested here so if we are going to use GPS for the web view extension we need to copy the following lines so here we go and the, uh, you should be very careful where from you are copying the tags it should be here Okay, and uh, uh, these lines we need to copy them all and fix the indent. Uh, what is happening again is this line. You see. This web view extension is requiring to add a new activity to your Android manifest. So, again, if you move 
down we will see that for iPhone setup you will need at least iPhone 6.1 the minimum OS version and other things are general so you don't have to add them but again you will need GPS access so we are going to copy these lines too and here you will decide if you are going to run your iPhone application on iPhones or iPads or both so we come here for the iPhone part and we just need to copy these lines and put them here and of course we need to copy the minimum OS version and if you move down a little bit you will see that after introducing the icons you actually need to name the extension to be packaged along with your APK file so we're gonna add the extension name here too Okay, now we have our manifest set up. Alright, the next thing to be careful about is that uh, in our project we are running on Adobe SDK 18. So let's make sure what we have here. We are currently running on 18, but our SDK is 19. Alright. So uh, imagine we are using SDK19 in our own setup, just like this. Uh, another thing to be careful about is to set the compiler option. So we move to the compiler option tab and add it here. Considering that we just upgraded our SDK, we can also change this to 19. But you, to be able to make sure that what Adobe or SDK the extension is working on, you need to open. You see, every Air Native extension is actually a zip file. You can open it with any zip software you have. We are using WinRAR, so let's open it with WinRAR. In the folder ANE, you will find a file name extension.xml. If I'm opening this file, I will see that the list errors decay that I would need in my project is 15. So I'm going to be just fine if I am using 19 in my own project. Alright. So we completed the manifest and as you see we have added the extension name to be included and implemented in my project. So we can safely close these files and run the project again to see what happens. Alright, this time there is no error in the debugger, but it's as you see it says that the content cannot be loaded because there was a problem running an extension. The extension is not being loaded, could not found. So, what is the problem now? Let's see. Let's take a look at our packager bat file here. And as you see, there is a call to ADT which is trying to package your application. But what it misses is that uh, although we have added the ANE 
to our leaf folder but we have not told the packager where to find it so we are going to add this implementation here let's get back to the demo project and compare the packager file uh, let's find the ABT file it's here you see it's actually telling the ABT packager to find the AME in the lib folder so we are going to copy this line and add it here alright now let's run our project again and again the same problem although we have introduced the, the location of the extension but the packager is still not able to package the application so another thing you should remember is that most of the Adobe or native extensions are using native API files which might not be available to the simulator so uh, again we let's try to run on an actual device the debugger so this time we are not going to run on a simulator we are going to run on a real device I'm going to call it Voila it's it has started to package the extension you see a this folder has been created here and it is now installing the application on the device and the application is connected to the debugger now if you look at the screen of the application you will see that we have our button at the center of the screen now if we touch it here well the extension just worked and now you are able to call other methods and your extension is ready to work.